Hi hey guys, today we've been called out to a Nis can't get my words. <clears> Hi <throat> hey guys, today we've been called out to a Nissan Qashqai. You can tell I said that four times already, can't you? With a airbag light on. So today we're going to try and find the fault without blowing up in our face. Full disclaimer, if you don't know what you're doing at this point, don't actually do anything because I wasn't joking because that airbag can blow up in your face if you don't know what you're doing. So be a little bit sensible if you do know what you're doing, and if you don't, just leave it for somebody else. So as you can see, we confirmed the customer's fault. You can see the airbag light flash in there. It was on, off, on. It's flashing on and off, like so. So we plugged the top down in. As you can see, we got codes for airbag, driver's airbag open circuit. So we know that there's an issue here with the airbag here. So now that we know that there's an issue with this driver's side airbag there, we've removed the airbag. We've got the lead here, loose. It's just, just you know, got the lead there for it. We've got our decade box. We're simply going to probe in on here and set the resistance to what it should be. So as you can see, I've got my decade box plugged into the wires here and up on the scan tool, the codes. I've, if I clear the codes, so I've cleared the codes, go back in to read the codes, and they're still there. So they're not clearing, the fault is still there. So let's get the steering wheel off and have a look at the skaboom or the clock spring behind it. So luckily with this one, this is already marked, so you know where to line it back up. And then there's a yellow plug under here. You want to get to this yellow plug so you can um, get the decade box plugged into that. So we've got the yellow wire here, so you can see there's multiple wires going to it. So we put a wiring diagram on E3 Technical and we found that this one here, that you need the yellow wire and the yellow and blue wire. So we're just going to probe into there, into there. Now we've got that set to this prescribed amount of resistance. We're going to clear the codes on the scan tool again. Go back in. You can see there's no TCs there. So essentially what I've done is trick the computer into thinking that the airbag is there and it's working perfectly fine just by applying the amount, amount of ohms for the decade box. So we can have a wrap up on this one. The fault here is the clock spring. Mm -hmm. 